Whoops, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, here's the little teaser thing I was promising about for um, Red Flood. Um, if there's any m more, actually, there are some more, but if there's any more besides the one that I found right now, I'll do some more of them. But anyway, we'll be doing the Spanish teasers, the Spanish Civil War, in a uh, the Iberian Commune. Pretty cool. So anyway, the Spanish Civil War. Civil War will start off in a three-way duel to the death between the Spanish Republic, the National Front, and the Iberian Communes. Free breakaway states are timed cues will be replaced by actual factionalism mechanics. First content to handle your political situation before the factor side comes in. So uh it's kinda like a base game, how they do it in base game, where um you have to manage your factions and all that for uh, whichever side you're choosing. So they're going with that about. I think uh gets you a bit more involved in that. Although I wouldn't mind if it was just like, you know, timed all that, but anyways. Do not be stopped by altars nor by tombs. Fight, kill, die. Raymond Franco is gone. With him, stability is gone too. The cracks and fissures in Spanish society have ruptured forth into a great earthquake. As a peninsula rips its part, rips itself apart into the show of bloodshed and violence. That was, it has some music in the background. It was not just really, not just dead silence when I was doing this. Uh, anyways, I think that'll uh, really some of the problems over here. Yeah, like you have like little cities, like the more big cities. Bought his own thing. But, uh, anyway, before we see all these leaders, let's uh, read some of these movements. I gotta come with this. The dim light, the candle like conspiracy, I'm sorry. The dim light of the kills give the scene in the basement of the bar a grotesque and mysterious masquerade. Confusing the features of the face in sharp shadows. Camilleus Caballero, who was already nicknamed Grace Gassi, because of a literary pseudonym. <coughs> probably butchered that. Spanish is pretty off. I uh, was currently observing the contrast in the face of the person who was still his boss, and Don Roman Maria de Valera Can. Can. <coughs> Was a tall and slender man with a beard worthy of Judge Old Israel and a wooden arm worthy of a corsair. The thick glasses reflected a fan Chinese, making the gaze an instant of a Don Maria jumped from the seat, struck the floor with his bruised cane, still attached to his eye, turned to him. With a markedly Galatian musical accent, he began to speak. Brothers, comrades, the hour of my end is near. Don Roman at the assistance murmured for a few seconds. In the meeting was the most diverse group of conspirators. Some men who just got out from college, envoys from the Falange and one of John's various philosophers, thugs, and of course, the forever avant-garde Roman Gomez de la Serena. Despite the shells, his round face and wild eyes gave him away in the room. And Roman Maria spoke again. I'm afraid they'll arrest me for mocking the whore of Babylon, our barely beloved republic. I'm sure of it. If I speak honestly to you, comrades and brothers, I do not think I will survive. But due to natural cause causes. Weird. Okay. I see it was a march between life and oblivion. It is necessary, however, to choose a successor. I have invited Alfonso de the Casa of the Falanque and God de Velasco of the Jones to give their approval to the change. Two men not only determined and shortly after. A waiter who was acting as his assistant came by with a round of drinks to celebrate the result that was about to be done. I know Maria <clears throat> spoke again. I seek to propose a good man, a great artist, the genius of the avant garde this room. Don Roman Gomez de la Serna, my namesake. In his canon, he has always remained loyal and above any factionalism. He has great friends in Les Soudli, and I think he will satisfy all the members of this room. The two in his favor raised their hands. Les Soudli is the capital of France, by the way, which is Paris. They changed the fence after uh, the avant garde was declared. And I. The room was flooded with gloomy silence, and the attendees looked at each other in disbelief. Comrades in the center stood above factional struggles because he was totally and utterly incapable of taking an interest in politics. Most likely he was just here because he treated as any other meeting between friends. Even more surprising, Aaron, Gassi slammed the table. Unluckily enough to drop its glass, undeterred, he started off with an impromptu speech. 
Y vi cómo es el seno de Brutlin de la sala. Y cómo es el seno de Step Down the Sun, the creature with fire de la sala. I'm sure we will be wise of an arbitrator as a Solomon. I trust and give my vote to the new referee. I trust to others that an artist to make of Spain an epic poem of rage and blood. Perhaps you stay at the two representatives of the Falenge Johns, as they understood. Purely symbolically, you'll be friends both of them. They give more breathing room to the audience. They raise their hands and are informed by some personal friends. A Camus Caballero, out of pressure or recognition, the entire room raised their hands in approval. One by one. Now as Roman Gumbin is sitting to the floor, despite looking confused and lost in his own world, he seems kind of hard feeling to say a few words. He clears to shut the room in the eyes of sad times. Hmm. I'll hit that later. My only creed, my only dogma, you must adopt my only message. My only parable will be the following, when there is us in war and peace. Let's ghastly and be the holy incense of our new civilization. So, yeah, we'll read uh, these leaders. Actually, I guess we can see them now. So, for the National Front, we have, you know, Gunner de Sena, Gunner de Masrimos, who I think is the Vanguard Soldiers, Jose Interno Primo de Rivera, who is a reactionary of the Falenge. Yeah, I think, if I'm not the Vivek and Ku Ramos, if, uh, the war tracks on breaking I think that's gonna change to uh, the whole faction system all that and then we have the two successors Salvador Dali who is a famous player in our time and this to go as Caballero I don't remember much about him this is go Franco over here I don't think he's gonna do anything Jose Diaz and Alejandro Lux I think Jose Diaz can crew Ale Alejandro if uh, he doesn't you know, either win in time or like fucks up the whole political situation. And then we have Bruno Ravi to Tura Deruti. We'll talk about uh, the, the CNT teacher. Yeah, so usually it would just between these two, but now Deruti is gonna come in over here and turn this into a three way, which kind of will happen in our timeline, except uh, much later on. Yeah, it, just, it happens like right at the start. Oh. And there's some more events. Two philosophies with a hammer. Hey, excuse me. The student turned, wandering into a calm in the middle of the street. He found his face face to face with a boy at his age. Rickety, a second man with huge muscles who was almost twice his age. A third with thick glasses and right brim hat. Rickety, you spoke to him again. Then that was right. He didn't wait for an answer and brushed a newspaper like a sword. I saw you had done with Rose talk at the Central University, as right off you at least he should buy weekly. The miss had only been to talk by the man, about Heidegger. He had no interest in politics or whatever drill this man was going on about. He was surprised that the meekly intellectual that was a man of the Mr. had any involvement in it. The university student still took the paper and read the headlines. Spain bathed in blood with public and self fatherland to London. The man had some ability. So you went to the so you went to the central last Thursday. What do you think of my talk? Is it last recognized with me that 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 these my Ramos? <coughs> Sorry, it is too fast. His acute rheumatism was unmistakable. Large, live, lively eyes shine through the glasses. Constantly scanning him with malicious grin. I've been told by several friends that I may not have been able to expose the decent properly, and for me, the must stop himself. We saw a blade figure run towards the group. The man lunged at him and grabbed the jackets. Don Romero! Barry called Bertha for launching to stream information. Three engine, Gallo Hugo, a fiesta on the ground. Fiesta on the ground. <laughs> fiesta. <laughs> yeah, we need more men. For the same, granted. And got a lot of surprise that you revolve into here. His two companions are the same. He did a smart politely at him again. We keep the newspaper in one. Had a last and minute matter. Last and minute, man. I'm sorry. Really, <laughs> in that. The student, speechless, nodded and watched as the game ran down the alley. He ran out the stupor in which he found himself. With his heart beating like a wardrobe. drop. His heart followed him as fast as he could. There was nothing that the university still looked more than it ran down the philosophy. Practice and theory go hand in hand. Oh, pigs must die. 
this copal is copal. Well, Mr. Camille was hard on the trail hunting down the scoop like he had nothing left to lose. So I told him this is where we wanted to be at the villa. A clan was being jailed in a way. There's a political change, there's violence, however. It also required to take a more hands on approach to journalism. A large crowd of artists and writers together and enjoyed the protest of Francoist regime's action. By the time he arrived, however, it appeared that the protest escalated. The so much on strike men of the public had only arrived on the scene with the hand out, being there anyone that fell prey to their sight. Caballero felt his blood boil, but he himself back in order to better shot notes down for a paper later, after all. No point in going home so when he could document the crimes of the Republican regime. And what's the point of a journalist who doesn't do his job? Either way, <laughs> it appeared that the worst was over and the crowd just began backing out a bit. When he heard a sound like a room thudding behind him. Moots, dozens, if not hundreds of them. All marching in unison, all won by Premier Linda, the fist of the Falange. Hundreds of men slowly descending and singing party hymns in unison. As they arrived, the crowd of protesters cheered. Heroin the saviors. The Simitin was quick to read, just preferring himself for the uneven night. I was not thunder was matched with the lightning. <coughs> I cough. The blistering sound of a gunshot split into air in twain as the ball quickly descended to a bloodbath. Fists, clubs, and knives, weapons of all kinds struck left and right. Ad man turned to beast, and beast turned to prey at the the while. Gomez Caliburello stood. Pocketing the smoke and wall, the grin to his face as violent as straight as your butter. A scoop. <laughs> the minister and the pauper. This is an outrage, Jose Diaz slammed his handful of flowers and all the hundred of the desk. Papers, photographs, and images spilled out like viscera, telling a bloody tale. Day after day, week after week, your men attacked my men. They're targeting the reactionaries to see what they are stopping in the face of the working is quite obvious to anyone. Lose unfazed by the answer, and really responded calmly. Senior Diaz, please, come down a bit. I think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion here. Like hell I am. Between the forces of the right bringing down my neck and the perficious anarchists ripping away the proletariat with their lies, I'm having a hard time, hard enough time handling keeping this republic standing without you breaking my kids every time I try to organize. Listen, listen, my hands are tied. I simply try to keep the law in order here. Tiring the kid. Public standing on their own two feet. These fellow veins start to pose on their neck. You're in the goddamn dictator. You're the only man who could tie your own hands. He wrung his hands like he himself from exploding to a fit of rage. The woods answered with nothing but a smirk. He was playing with Diaz, torn with the young upstart peasant who climbed to the ranks, rungs of the PCE. In Seville, Diaz married before his little feet, but here in Madrid, he would play by the rules rules. Not Franco's, not anyone else. And who wanted to make sure Diaz understood that. Well, Senor Diaz, thank you for the meeting with me. It's been rather enlightening. As the guy screwed out Diaz, Diaz out of the door, the Ruse leaned back to the chair and thought about what to do with the young upstart. In public, he couldn't quite offer him support, but he did have a point about the Republic's many enemies. Now, in his times, very indeed, in the past, it might be foolish. We took a puff of the cigarette, put the smoke here, and signed a new order to Simple 10. He's off the baker and his brand of peasants. Law and order, senior Diaz, law and order. So, so you can either crack down on Jose or have him as an ally, which I think can lead to him getting cooled by Jose Diaz if he doesn't play his card rights for that. It's gonna be, gonna be cool. Very excited about this. Uh, last event over here, before we get to the anarchist stuff. Radio Free Barcelona. The video crackled to life as a whimper of sacks tried to be an awkward empty silence and shuffling his papers. The village in a choir was deflowered by a cough and the nervous announcer prepared himself for an auditory coronation. <coughs> Take a breath. Good morning, everyone. Joseph Maria Senahara. In a costume, food with their rates for the first time. Welcome to, uh, as me a several note. Welcome, shall everyone over there as Francis Hugh. Kicking the cheap microphone, the pair has up. I'm for hey, hey, tone it down. Speaking of those up, but yeah, obviously, nervous for his first session live. Yelling too damn much, and sorry, sorry, just excited, you know. Yeah, no, anyway, all the media started drawing this hand on the table, building off an improbable intro track. Francis, wait for a signal, hit a pistol at the ready. What if we are, and fuck, that's loud. We can refill the shit, clean out, expecting the pistol to make that kind of noise. God, my ears right, they just blow out the damn microphone. 
No, that's still good, I think. Answer the fences. At least, at least, at least it should be. Hell, anyway. I want the radio free Barcelona. For some of your shots, face into the air instinct. You know, normally else can see this in the radio. If I like an Akia. Free fly, tell me if I'm waving the person here. Resume a real smart dude is a guy. They clear to finally have the show start. But let them think that for a second. I don't want to go over against it. God damn it, Franklin. <laughs> a bit of a modern day poets indeed. See, so yeah, that's so that's the build up to the Spanish Civil War. Pretty, pretty cool stuff over here. So now, speaking of anarchists, let's read about all the anarchist factions over here. There's three, and then there's one over here that I'm excited for. Anyway. Uh, Duverti, let's read him. Jose Renoveta Duverti de Mong, influenced by anarchism to the US. <laughs> Damn, they butchered that. And again, I butchered everything in this. Like his father, he worked as a mechanic in his hometown of Lyon, and his father also joined into the Lyon General de Chevalier de Duverti saw that his very eyes, the brutal pressure of the proletarians, were subject to two by the wealthy. Evolved into more radical views, which he would expel from the Union soon afterward. Following the event, he came into contact with the Confederation Nationale de Chevajo. A then booming organization of anarcho syndicalists and led to terrorists who were also the loyalists. He was forced to flee to Latin America after at these droodings between the organization, several bombings, and bank robberies across the country. In Argentina, they actually hit him with tenure as left in an outlaw, committing the first bank robbery in the history of the latter country. Duty returned to Spain after the proclamation of the Second Republic and quickly aligned himself with the Federation Anarchista de the Iberica sector of the movement. The proposed cooperation with the public and assisted the to maintain a constant struggle with the authority to terrorism. A tall tension came to the breaking point of the faction who advocated for the understanding within the United Leftist Bloc left the CCT forever. CNT forever. <coughs> The FAIC and T had became known from then on, which saw the skirt as completely enchanted by Duruti's charisma and legend. Duruti has unknowingly crystallized a personality called Alonso that unironically been useful to advance the anarchist cause. Sadly, his opponents said that finding his authority over the militias, his the Iberian Federation of Anarchists, I feel it's going to be a bit of a bandit state. Just what I think, because you know. Banish state that uh that does everything it can to destroy the state, <laughs> even though he's a leader of it. But hey, you don't need to care about that. As <laughs> Abraham Gideon Sands has become one of the most cruelly influential theories within the FAI CNT. For good reason, you superb research economic and guerrilla warfare of the revolution immensely. At least he did this organized volunteer militia into a fierce fire for a very strict any more. Killing didn't limit his work to intellectual women, he also fought as a foot soldier and then became a full time political commissar. His theories, however, are at times viewed with skepticism at best and suspicion as well by many members of the movie. Killing had to come at time and time again to assist for our system, alien to the Malay Party, moving from status quo, mixing. On in mutualism with his own theory on so called anarcho Marxism. He advocates for a model of stateless republic, field of slavery, of German bureaucracy, and of capitalist tyranny. Like this new federative republic would promote free trade and competition among localized units. These units would in turn represent a long regional and national council. A genuinely a pan Iberian national, but probably on an idiosyncratic ideology, the brilliant the has become the face of the CNT, taking advantage of the chaos and uncertainty that the FBI dominance caused. Now at the very top of the period itself, Elhan Gunnar might prove to be a renewer or assassin of anarchism. Though so it looks like he could either maintain the federal republic of Iberia, maintain like a sort of anarchistic with some state features or completely um, go Backstab the anarchists in like probably go to like a despotic path or probably somewhere. I think it would be more fitting for a despotic, but anyway, he has like 
I guess he's gonna have like two paths to go down where he either remains true to the revolution or betrays it. <laughs> That'll be interesting to see. And lastly, Angel Pestilla. Angel Pestilla, as well as like his comedy duty at the early on. Born to a poor family, orphaned at a very young age, first in Antwerp, Spain, and France for years as a migrant worker before settling in Algeria. Being a solid star, the great war inside the dedicates are fully to anarchism. Writing the same TFI with the Tiri in 1920, he gained quick relevance and respect within the board as he was the Confederate envoy to travel to Berlin and draw a report on the situation. His document was decisive, decisive in making the irreversible break between anarchism and communism in Spain. As a CNT, which would not collaborate with moves within the international, however, Bastini is by no means a radical. He was the head of a faction most predisposed to collaborate with other movements and take legal rights as frequently as possible. Led him to confront the fascist faction that was to advocate for a continuation of terrorism and secrecy during the book. Bastinera, disappointed, briefly already renewed FAI CNT via his own platform. Of the Partido Syndicalista, Piston Ascender, now again relevant to the Spanish Revolution, has a chance to reach the top the of the coalition of pariahs, anarchism that has materialized around him. This alliance is, however, making a diplomatic anarchist turned general secretary must not have a maneuver into a delicate situation that would fulfill for Iberia. The very idea of anarchism itself. F. Weird Syndicate, so. Mostly, he's like the most. Moderate of the anarchists, or he's like the best of them. But it uh, looks like he could also turn back in the revolution, so I guess the routine is probably the only one that can't. Best guess. Yeah, it was, uh, nothing we know for sure, but we'll be interested to see how that plays out anyway. Here, and the end of the old civilization has come. The face of the earth will be renewed in a new sun. At the present generation, perish, let the pre of Hades die in the desert. The holy earth will not cover his bone. They have the free Iberian territory. I'm guessing that's a hidden path from one of these guys. So, yeah. That is basically the Spanish teasers that I could find as of now. Probably go back, see if there's any more that I miss, and add, add like another part to this if I do miss it. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be doing this from time to time. So, let's see, you know, you have some music in the background, really. That's that way, it isn't just me talking quietly. It's not just me talking quietly, but just like there's something that up. Then, uh, spices up this a bit. But yeah, I'll try to do this more often whenever a teaser comes. For uh, Red Flash specifically, I probably won't do this with other mods. Depends on uh, how interested I am in other mods, but as of now, I'm gonna be doing Red Flash teasers. So, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this, and I got another one coming up after this that's gonna talk about Africa. It should be interesting. It's gonna be like a bunch of stuff for Africa. And then, as I said before, if I find any others, I'll do videos on them as well. Until then, I'll see you in the Mad Arts, and I'll see you guys later.